reminisce, I reminisce. Uh. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's your girl Pamela back at it again with a new video, and today we have Untitled Sales. So, I'm Azarja Kwan, Mazi Kabi, Wilman. Okay, so let's get into it. So, right. tell us where the name Untitled Sales came from. Okay. Um, actually, we might have to ask Gold about that, you know what I'm saying? Go back. <laughs> <laughs> A title, a title sound came from the name of, or the concept of we didn't really brand it any one thing. We're not one box. We're a bunch of different blends of people. We're creatives. We're everything. So we're not just one thing. We're a lot of things. Okay. So how did everyone meet? How did you guys come in and come together? Um, I think. All right. I, I guess I'll go back to like um, just maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I was in math class with another of our uh, group members, uh, Dubious, and so, you know, one day I was just like singing in class, and he was like, oh, you got a good voice, he was like, you know, I'm trying to put together this music group, when you trying to be a part of it, I'm like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, like, I, at that point, like, I was still new to Philly, I didn't really have, like, that many friends that was doing music, so I'm like, I'm not trying to just be in any old music group, like, so what's up? Um, but no, yeah, so I met, uh, met up with him, we talked about it for a little bit, and then um, we did officially link up. I met Wellman and I met Goldback, <clears throat> and then um, also through school, just like walking around, I saw Mozzie, um, but at this point, you know, he's still kind of doing his old thing, so uh, that's how I know everybody. Uh, so basically through CCP, we kind of met, just, you know, walking in the halls, uh, turning around school, so. So, <clears throat> as far as, like, the music, like, what kind of topics do you guys touch on? Is it just, like, anything, or do you want to touch, or do you touch on topics that's for the people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, not to get angry. Okay, <laughs> um, I guess just, like, bettering yourself, like, as overall knowledge, gaining it, no matter what. Um, uh, I get flossy a little bit, talk some shit, <laughs> just a tad, but um, for the most part it's more conscious music. Well, um, mine's really for like, you know, the thinker, so I know um, mine's probably wouldn't touch, I'm more like really bar savvy, so it's more so like, I like I like to make people think, like you know what I'm saying, like because I like the music that, you know, the type of music I like, I like to make, you know, make me think so. Um, usually it's more of like a creative, you know, some people might not relate to it right. as much, but I know it's coming from a place regardless, but I think if it's real, it will translate. Mm -hmm. So, that's, yeah, that's what we So what kind of, what, um, type, like, not kind of people, but, but who are the people that inspire all of you guys the most, like, the industry and things like that? Like, Kendrick um, Lamar, anybody like that? Uh, for me, um, grow, so grow, I grew up in the church, um, so, you know, people like Kim Burrell, um, Tasha Cobbs, like those are like the vocalists that I was looking at. Uh, TG Jakes, you know, you gotta throw a T, can't forget TD. Um, but then as I got older, you know, I started to get into listening to the music that my friends were listening to. I never was big on like, um, I guess like you call it party music. Like I the oh, stuff that people like playing the clubs. I've never really been big on it. So I would be at home listening to Brandy, and you know, I was six. I, I didn't know what it was. Like you know. Have you ever loved somebody? No, I didn't, but I'm feeling it right now. I'm over here crying like I did. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I shot in the realm of, like, the Brandies, and then as time went on, Jasmine Sullivan, Frank Ocean, John Legends. Um, and, you know, recently, uh, through uh, TDE, like, SZA for me, I, once she came out, it was that was over. Like, I listen to SZA when I'm in the shower, you know, when I'm, you know, having sex or whatever. Like, <laughs> SZA, that's my girl. I, I put her on for whatever, but I, for me, definitely, um, I'm kind of, like, narrowing, narrowing in on, uh, I want to say Frank Ocean, SZA-type realm, where, you know, they give you realness, there's some emotion, but there's also a sense of, like, it's not that serious at the same time, like, kind of. In that realm, so that's for me. That's kind of who my inspiration is. Um, I guess more so like closer to now. I want to go with like J Cole, Chance the Rapper, along those like lines, like Logic, Have Soul, all of them. TD is a big like group that I like, look at. Um, but like if you go back a little bit further, I like I like all of the guitars, like Jimi Hendrix. I like the drummers, I like James Brown, like his stage presence. It's, can't top that. Uh, well, 
I'm kind of like a Desari's thing, but like you know, as a rapper, um, I wasn't, I wasn't always into rap. So like honestly, I really started rapping or writing even when I was 17. I'm 22, so you know, um, back then, you know, it was mainly like um, I'm not gonna say like rap was prohibited, but like my sister used to play it, you know, like Wayne, Jay, mm -hmm. No Big, and stuff like that. So like you know, I, I got a little flavor from everything. Like um, my dad was like rocker, like um. He played a lot of Queen, Beatles, you know, stuff like that. Um, Chicago, uh, my mom, she was soul, so she played like stylistics and, oh, okay. you know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, she, the, uh, my parents are like, they're old school, so they're like more in the 50s type, you know, that type stuff. So, um, honestly, like, if you say, like, relatively now, my favorite rapper is Black Thought. So, like, Black Thought, Royce the Five Nine, uh, Feral Mach, Nas, you know, just the, like, the new, the new wave, like, don't get me wrong, like, Kendrick Lamar and all, they're amazing. But just like, you know, when it comes to like 90s rap, right. oh man, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's damn near untouchable. Like. Mm -hmm. So, as far as, as far as the music, your career, and what y'all claim to do with the group, how far do y'all want to take um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to speak up on this because um, they can tell you I'm crazy about this music shit. <laughs> like, I'll be four, it'll be 4 o'clock in the morning and Mozzie call, call me and be like, Bro, what did you think about? I'm like, well, this is what I was thinking, and this is what, I, and this is also what I'm trying to do. Like, and for me, this is not um, just something I woke up one day and decided I was going to do. This is something, you know, growing up singing in the church, I was like, all right, I definitely want to sing, but I don't know if I want to do it in the church. And then, you know, I did, did it at school for musicals, and I'm like, I don't think I want to do this for musicals. And I move up from there. I'm like, all right, I'm in high school now. I'm doing these talent shows. I like this. I like being on stage. I like people, you know, interacting. And you know, when I get off, they're like. Oh, you know, whose who song was that? That was my song. Oh, really? I thought I heard the radio. Nah, that's me. But, you know, that, that, that whole type of interaction, that whole vibe is something that I've always wanted. So, um, I'm going to take this as far as I can get it. Okay. So, yeah. um, I would have to say, like, I always knew that I was going to do something, like, on stage or, like, performing-wise or whatever. But, like, it was a Halloween dance at my school, and they let us perform. And, like, the love that I got from that crowd just was, like, this is, this is it. <laughs> no other option. Mm. I mean, other than that, like, uh, I like to perform. Like, <laughs> word, word, word. Yeah. I know um, for me, um, like I said, I wasn't always rapping, so at first, you know, I wanted to be a comic book illustrator and I wanted to be a dancer. Um, but, you know, uh, I will, I'm not even going to say I relate for me. I'm, I'm very nervous regardless. Like, you know, I'm an introvert, so. Um, you know, when I was dancing, you know, I was always like really hard on myself and stuff. So like at that point, I was like, oh, I really don't like performing or anything. Like you know what I'm saying? I didn't like any of that stuff. But um, something about like you know writing, you know, it was like it was like a common ground because dancing is like you know you have performance aspect, but with com um, comic book illustration, you know, I wasn't the best sketcher, but you know I do like I love reading comic books and stuff. Like you know I like writing stories sometimes, but um, you know you kind of like bring that into to rap, you know, it's nothing but storytelling and like, you know, mad punches and, you know, whatever, being really clever, but um, I know this is like really, really new to me, so I'm just kind of taking it like small steps, like things that's natural, like, um, it's, this isn't like, you know, what I'm truly supposed to like do or something like that, I'll find something regardless and I'll be okay with it, like, but I do love rap, I'll never love, like, not love rap, like, that's, that's forever, you know what I mean, but... It's just more so like, you know, if this isn't like the natural place I'm supposed to go, mm -hmm. you know, I'll mm -hmm. have a lead. Okay. You know, I'll be alright. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I'll be fine. With the um, name itself, do you guys want to like bring it in? I see the little bracelet. Do you guys want to do shirts, pants, hoodies, things like that? I'm um, working on it. Merchandise is like a major key in anywhere in the industry or any industry that you look at. Mm -hmm. So, it probably would be imperative. And that out as soon as possible. I mean, we're actually um, right now kind of taking boats and stuff on our next like big logo as far as the brand goes, um, <clears throat> and we all contributed to it. So we all, you know, sat down, we made sketches. Um, Mozzie and Gold are pretty much our, you know, head honchos when it comes to our graphics. So it was literally like, all right, this is what we're, what we're thinking, this is what we want to do, and then we just put it to a vote, and we've been voting for like the past week now. We we can have just you know on what our new logo is going to be. Um, and we got some shit coming, but it's 
all a matter of, you know, picking the label that best suits the, the, the brand and then also thinking, all right, well, this is the label that we're going with. You know, where are we putting this on? Is it just shirts? Are we doing this one for this logo for shirts? And then the one that made it to the second round, do we put that on bracelets? Is that something that just goes on like bandanas? You know, so we're right now we're, we're taking those necessary steps. But, um, it's like the whole thing going good. It's been going well. Like, we, we, we hit a couple <laughs> hiccups because, um, I like, I say it like I'm the crazy one in the group, so I've been calling them hoes for picking the wrong logo. I'm like, yeah, y'all yeah, some it's hoes winning for picking right that logo. Now. But not the end, winning right now. Right now. So, so bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not. You know, I'm so mad. Because for me, it's like I, if if I know that there's something that's a better option for the group, even though everybody else doesn't see it, I'm gonna keep barking it until y'all get. All right, well, maybe he actually saying something that makes a little bit of sense. And then you know, like I said, they came around. Um, so like I said, we, we we definitely have some stuff stars merch coming. Um, the next big thing is just finalizing the logo and then getting it moving from there. And t-shirts, hoodies. All that. Um, I think we said sometime by the fall, you know, we're gonna try to have a decent amount done. That way, when we start, you know, really hitting those performances <laughs> and doing shows and stuff, people can purchase them or we do giveaways, things of that nature. Um, so yeah. Did you always think that you will be in this kind of like this, this not predicament, but in this this life that you're living today? Like when you were little, did you think like you know what, one day? This is going to hit for me. I want to perform. I want to be an artist. I want to do this. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to dance the first um, Honestly, I um, didn't know that I was going to like the way that the stage felt, but I knew I was going to be doing some kind of art, like mm-hmm. whether it was drawing, graphic design, or whatever the case is. Um, I know uh, when I was younger, um, I like I had like a really uh, serious like a dad. My dad had a really serious impact on me, so. Um, I didn't know he really like was a musician, like because you know I'm young, right. so like everything that he does, you know um, he's a pastor, so um, you know I was like I was like in preschool like trying to preach and stuff like you know <laughs> stuff like that, like you know what I'm saying, like I know when I was in um when I was like in elementary school I had no idea, like I just I just I wanted to be like an astronaut, like the first black president. I was just like you know whatever, but um you know music. I remember even telling my friends I was like y'all crazy for trying to rap. Like, I remember saying that. Like, I was just like, yo, y'all crazy. Like, why would y'all even try that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, um, it was like, but like, you know, then it was like one night we were like just texting each other, like just rapping back and forth. Like, oh, this isn't, this isn't half bad. You know what I mean? This, 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 this really isn't half bad. So, um, I will say like, I, I, some of my friends, I'm like the main one that like kept going with it. And I'm very surprised at that because at first I was like, I'm surprised. I was the first person to say y'all crazy for doing it. You know what I mean? Like, that's. That's weird, like. So because because your dad is a pastor, like, is he opposed to? No, you know what's crazy, yo. Yesterday, all right, Pete, right, Pete. All right, so like, I broke, I broke, I broke um, a hip hop record to my dad. So like, I was very hype about that. Like, I was like, um, yesterday, um, he was like, so um, this hip hop thing, he put on Ice Cube. I was like, so you, you pay, you pay my dad, pay he's a pastor, right? All right, so look, right, so look, right, he's a musician. Regardless, so right, like regardless you know, of regardless of any, okay. like you know, he is a musician, so it's like um, you know, the the contents he won't agree with a lot of what he's saying, but like he's not he's not just mental or anything, like you know, okay. he's what he you know he's he's a he's an open person regardless, right. you know, he it's whatever. But I was really surprised when he played like Ice Cube, he played um Alcoholics and stuff. I was like, what <laughs> in the world? I was like, yo, <laughs> like he was um he um did um this underground rapper named Torre, and I was like, Dad, what do you you, you don't even know what you just tapped into. Like I was like, yo, that's really crazy. I never even heard of Tori. He's he's yeah. he's, yeah. he's yeah. fantastic. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, it's, but I played um to put a butterfly for him yesterday, and um that's like, I like I cranked that to the max. Like that's that's like to me that's the greatest album of the generation. Like that album is. Well, I don't know. I see, don't look, know. see, look, see, look. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. We can talk about that afterwards. <laughs> but like, all right. So you know, he's very jazz influenced. So you know, I'm. You know, I bring that into there. You know, just like he still had to pick up on like, you know, trying to like catch up to some of the words because it's fairly new to him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, he was like, I like the music, but you know, um, you know, I couldn't really catch a lot of stuff. So I was like, I was like, oh, so I had to break some stuff down for him. He was like, oh, okay. Okay, so like you know, he's trying to get more into it. And I was like, "That's really crazy! Like, that's crazy that I just happened yesterday. You just bought it. That's yo, you see how that works, yo? I'm sorry. I know, like, I'm acting like real weird, but like, I'm just saying, like, that's just that's just really crazy how the world works. Like, you know what I mean? 
Like, you know, you miss it, you know, the people butterfly. Oh. See, look, all right, so that's a conversation for another day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we got, like, we were talking about music, and I was just listening to the chronic, listening to the chronic. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 of this generation. Like, oh, of this generation. Listen, the chronic that is, is a classic. I wish you just, could, you know, the generation could yeah. be. It's a Bible. I that's not even debated. They could tap into, like, the music of back then, because I was like, this is some nice shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is some some shit right here. Now... You know, we got our Uzis, we got our Yadis mm-hmm. and things like that. And people say they ass, but I read it. I don't know if anybody saw this, but um, who was it? Tank. Tank said, you know, they have a different sound. Mm-hmm. But would you consider that a different sound, or would you just say this is completely trash? Real quick. Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm going to just, I'm going to do a two for one, right? <clears throat> um, so as far as the, the previous question of like mm-hmm. being younger and ever thinking I was going to do this, my personality was way too big out of the womb for me to not ever. Like even when I met when I first met them, they were like, yo, what the fuck is this Like my like people look at me like my fits be my my outfits be crazy, my personality is crazy, my mouth is wild, but like all of that for me is like that makes me who I am and I've I just, I've always known that I was gonna be on the stage doing something like <clears throat> and when I was younger I was standing on the counter and I was talk about tiny I was about this big. I would get my little stool, get up on the counter, and be like, y'all gonna listen to me sing. My mom like, get your little black ass off this. I'm like, you gonna listen to me. Your mom come in the kitchen, she stand there, and I give me a little spoon, and I be up there singing some song. She like, you done yet? I'm like, yeah. Now take your ass in the room and go do your book report. And that was, so I always knew for me that that was gonna be something that, you know, I did kind of get into. Now, <clears throat> When it come to Yachty and, and all these other people, I don't listen to them. Like, you see all of them making faces? All of them making faces because I don't, I don't believe in it. And here's my, here's my thing, my take on it is, like, I appreciate them for who they are, for staying true to themselves and making okay. music that, you know, makes them feel good. Make, making mm-hmm. music that makes them feel like, you know, they're empowering themselves. And, you know, it's beneficial. It's beneficial to them because it's taking them out of the poverty that they were in. <clears throat> I'm not gonna knock that. My issue with rappers like Yachty and all these other niggas is like, when we were younger, our parents had house music. Like that was their version of like what we have now, and they had follow me. Why don't you follow me? Like there was kind of like a message in that a little bit. But the shit these niggas are saying, I was on it. Yeah, I yes. had a boat. I had a two. I had a go. Okay, fucking Dr. Like, Seuss. Like, like, <laughs> you took out a Dr. Seuss book, book and make it a song. Like, all right, do something for yourself. Like, for me, I just can't get with it. Will I turn up to it? Yeah, I will. But that's not the type of music when I go home. That's not what I'm listening to. I'm not. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that to my brain. So, do y'all you know? solely think that music does initially have an effect? Like, absolutely. Like, 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 you know, like, like, entire. Do you see how these little time. kids run around out here? I see what you mean. The, they're the type of music they listen to. These kids aren't listening to what we listen to growing up. Absolutely. You know, granted, we're not, you know, the best, you know, you people. You know what's crazy? They would say, that, like, the early 2000s, like, when we had Chingy, they would say that's trash. They would actually say that's trash. Oh, that's an era. 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 That's that was the way. Really yeah, that was, yeah, that was the way. If you go back yeah. to the early two thousands, we was bumping Ja Rule, Ashanti. I was like, I was bumping Ashanti, but Ja Rule just so happened to be on the show. But she was like Ja Rule. We was like five, six, and seven in the first grade. A lot of you not like going home. Turning on 106 in Park, yes. watching those like Absolutely. 20 second videos, you, like, right? yeah. you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and just bump into it. But yeah. now, like, you turn on the, the TV, like, you don't even watch TV no more. No, yeah. They don't have iPhones. So it's like, media. we don't really have 106 in Park. Because you know, BT is all about white people. Yeah. <clears throat> That's so it's like, we got century. People don't really understand, like, the value of the music, like, mm-hmm. the value mm-hmm. of yes. it, you so know, where they're going. Because like I don't, I don't know like I, 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 I blog and all that, but it's like I listen, I listen to old stuff like that. I was just bumping Snoop Dogg too. Like my mom still has the album of him. Like you know, he reaching over the doll's house trying to break yeah. the girl. He has like yeah, dog 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 dog. Dog. Like, she she still has that. And like me and her, she still know every word. And she should have that every right. word. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that came out when she was nineteen. So it's like li- listening to that music right there is common. And I don't hear listen to Uzi, push me to the like yo yo like you know what? Like, I like it, but it's like I don't want to die. Like I just want to vote. Like you know. What as far as the Uzi stuff goes, <laughs> it's like I feel like Uzi is like a, a special kind of like category as far as like all of these other 
rappers go because I like he's he's, he's he's more so a rock artist like if you if you listen to what he's saying and go back to old rock it's the same shit he's just using mm-hmm. our beats I, that's all it is. He has a plug on somebody with some dope ass beats. And he's from, he from Philly, Philly. And I think exactly. that's what makes him different because he's from Philly. Exactly. But he stands in his own light. That's what he, he does. That's true. He doesn't have the teeter totter or anything. And it's like, wait, but then when you look at people like Boyati, it's like, There's no he, justification. Fits, he fits in that Most category with everybody yeah, else. But it's, exactly. like, it's like everybody else, and then there's Uzi. But it's cool it's for like right now. Yeah, it's the, these right songs right. are cool for the night. Like if you if you go out, you getting lit with your peoples or whatever. Like it's cool to listen to right then, but like it's not it's not building. There's no substance. The content is trash. Like mm. it's, it's nothing that you can look back to like ten years from, like now. It's gonna be like wow. Like Absolutely. it's just it's, it's gonna be like Chingy. Right. So to what me, it's, it's, what is he doing? You know, like, it's, it's it's musical poison, and I and I say this to say it's like like I said, when the kids now are ingesting the music that they're listening to. Sex, drug, and violence, Phil. And it, it to me, it's so, now that you mention it, right? Oh. On those topics. So, with your with the music that y'all make, right? With those, th- you know, mm-hmm. what you just mentioned is, do you want to have a message within those topics? Because there's also a message within sex. There's also a message that's within true. love. There's also, you know, you're right. It's how you talk. It's about how you talk about it, yes, right? Exactly. And it's I think about, so. I mean, just to kind of give you a synopsis of like what my project is about, it's called the Youth Tape. Okay. And I came up with the concept when I was thinking about like how our generation is when it comes to like relationships. And so the basis was that a lot of men in our generation, they get in relationships mm-hmm. and they do whatever the fuck they want, but still want to be in a relationship. Like they want the cake and they eat it too. And I'm like, you then, can't do that. And then what? <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 But, 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 but what, what I was thinking, this is what I was thinking, I'm like, you know, what if I tell a story of, you know, what happens when, when women decide to really put their foot down, because I don't care what men say, you can be hetero, mm-hmm. you can be gay, whatever the case may be, women are the most powerful creatures on this planet. Apex predator. When you, I mean, when, I, when I tell you, all you know, even just sex-wise, you cut male population off of sex, niggas go crazy. You see how, how these niggas be out there acting in the streets when they don't when they don't get none? Movie cut them off and really like make them think to do some shit. They will do it, but women do not do that. So what happens is you have these young women that give these the little boys whatever they want, and they take so much out of them that they don't. There's no. There's nothing left. Because they're playing a wifey role. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There's nothing the left. Title, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's nothing left. Like, so the premise of my project is that this guy cheats on this girl, and it, there's there is no conversation after that. She's done. Like you cut off. So now the, that male has to process his emotions, and I kind of tell the stories of like you know how men in our generation do. Like, all right, you don't get to get the girl back. So the first thing you do is you talk shit. You know, you like you fuck that bitch. I'm that nigga. Whatever. Blah blah blah. And then you turn around. You're like, oh, but I miss you. We all know that nigga that be up at four o'clock in the morning when he missing old old girl that did him right. Oh, I miss you, blah blah blah, yada 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 yada. You know, you know when she dub him again, what's this thing like? You know, so and but also it's also bring up the conversation of uh, men's emotional health. Like we don't talk about that. We don't, we, and especially in the well, color community, mm-hmm. especially yeah, right. black men, we don't do that. We don't talk about you know when black men get sad, how they process their emotions. Right. Mm-hmm. We don't talk about that. Cause yeah. I feel like, like especially I have a little brother who's 18, so it's like, he gets so caught up behind his emotions, but I don't need him to understand, like, it's okay to express those emotions, mm-hmm. whether it's with your mom, your sister, especially the females, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to express that with females, because females are understanding, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We're nurturing, we get it, we understand it, because we're emotional, so it's yeah. like, we, we understand it. So it's like, but also being, you know, being as though I like, I like females, it's like, it's also me being a dominant one. Mm-hmm. It's also hard too because because I'm because this generation is just just stuck on just like <laughs> masculine, feminine roles, yeah, like, all that shit. Yeah, it's oh funny. I can't do that because that's that. I'm gonna be in my feelings. I mean, look. <laughs> well, we got you that's, gonna be in our feelings. That's, 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 that's the that's the premise for me is just mm-hmm. to invoke those type of conversations. And like I remember when I was at the drawing board for the project, and um, they're actually both both Whaleman and Mazi are featured on a project okay. and I told them the premise, they were like, yo, that's a dope idea. But I wanted them because for me, like before me and Mazi ever worked together, I listened to his music and I'm like, even though he's talking this shit, there's a message. 
That's what I'm looking exactly. for. Even though, and before I knew this man could really rap, my to me, it was like I, I'm always gonna be this nigga's number one fan. But when I first met him, I'm like, all right, all, all these niggas look like they probably rap a little bit. This nigga look like he read comic books. Like I'm from, the, I'm from New York, so I just, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this nigga don't look like a rapper to me. Right, I see. Right. Yeah, my first mom, he was like, yeah, he raps. I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, there's just something about right. Right. his, his, his demeanor. It don't come off that way. But then, but that's what makes it. But that's what makes him. Just you gotta think about it. like that's what like like when people see me, they don't think I. I'm, oh, they just yeah, think I'm some drunk. You think I'm some drunk? Like that's rude. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that's that's, what, that's the that's the mystery about this it. man. Like all right, let me pipe right. up my teammates real quick. Let me let me like like I'm on the pod. I gotta pipe up my teammates. Prison break. <laughs> this man, Mike. Prison break. This I I had never heard him rap before. Even like hanging out with him, we've been writing. I've always seen him write, 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 write. Never heard nothing. Then I get an email one. No, actually, I, I get a text message. He texts me like, um, "Yo, you heard Mike new snippet?" I'm like, "Of what? Like, can you do like a right. video? Right. Is he like doing right. a poem? Like, what's happening? I know he dance, so like, is he? Mm-hmm. He's like, no, nah, rap." I said, "No, nah, I didn't hear it." Five minutes afterwards, everybody else I've been out with, yo, you hear Mike Lewis Slipper? I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> so I get the email. <laughs> All I hear is, man, 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 I'm going to break out of prison. I was like, oh, shit, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> and and like, I lie to you not for like a good four or five months. I wake up in the morning, I'm going to brush my teeth. Man, man. Brushing my teeth, that shit. <laughs> I'm walking down the block. Because I, I used to live here okay. in the house, so I would walk to CCP. First thing I put on in the morning, I'm gonna break out of walking down the block. This is me. I'm like, I'm, you know how you walk in and you really in the music? I'm walking down. So these white people looking like, yo, is he fighting me? Like, what's like, like, happening? Um, you know, so that's, that was, you know, Mike and then what Mazi, like I said, there's just something about his music. Like, he just kind of make you feel like you that nigga. So I'm walking down the block and I'm listening, you know, especially with a lot of his new stuff that he got now. I'm like, yo. You know, Anakin, 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 just walking around the block like, I'm Anakin. I don't know who Anakin is, but I'm that nigga today. Like, I'm Anakin the fuck today. So, uh, like, I really, like, I, I, I got to pop my teammates up only because, like I said, they, they got music and they got message and they got they got the skills. Like, I, and to me, it's, it's all about having the skills and, you know, wanting to get, articulate your message and being able to do that effectively. And, you know what I mean, they got it. I wanted to say, well, since since you gave me the compliment, <laughs> honestly, and honestly, I've, I've honestly said this to Azar even in private, in, in public, he's one of the last real vocalists we actually like, really had. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like, because like if you think about it, if you think about it, as much as like as much as like the great like this great music like for the weekend and like you know, but like like a lot of these rappers sing now, it's like eh. But like when you were like really tap into like the like the Tina Marie's and the uh, you know stuff like that, like. That's when you like tap into like okay like even we have, we have conversations about music, so we don't just talk about like like we, we was um, earlier today we was like yeah. talking about Janet Sullivan and you know, like actual singers you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like yo she's underrated. Yeah. I, yo I love Philadelphians but y'all sleep on her way too much. <laughs> I feel like y'all don't give her credit. Like I, when, I, the first time I ever saw Jasmine Sullivan, I was in New York City. It was she's doing one of her free concerts in Central Park. I've only I, at that point I think her first project had only ever been out, so I only ever heard what she did recorded. I heard, I heard her sing live. I'm like, she just did a jazz scale and then mm. flipped it and did one of the Middle Eastern like Sidarian. I said, how, bitch, how do you even? <laughs> I'm like, how do you even? A Mixolydian like people don't even know what a Mixolydian scale is, and she out here singing them off rip. Then I'm like, all right, now I gotta look her up. Then I look up her, you know, talent show from when she was 11 and doing runs. That like adults are struggling to do, and I'm like, how can she be from Philly and y'all sleep on her? Like, absolutely. Okay, speaking of Philly, okay, so like, like, like you said, everybody's a rapper. Mm-hmm. Now, Literally. honestly, honestly, do y'all have friends that rap? You just like, I'm gonna have to pull up. Bro, you just like, bro, I don't want that because I'm gonna be honest, like, a lot of people. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm real direct. <laughs> like, my mouth is wild. So, we have friends that make music that shouldn't right. be making music. And my comments usually start off like, 
I don't really like that, bro. Actually, you don't. You just know. Just. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, my whole thing is like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to any of my friends and be like, "This was really great. I'm so proud of you for doing this." When I know I'm not gonna listen to it when I go home. Mm. Mm-hmm. For what? You know. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 my thing is, that, but it's also vice versa. Like yep. when I'm during my writing process, I played them my stuff beforehand, and part of part of what I really appreciate about you know, again, Mike and Mozzie, you know, they don't bullshit. So if I send you know Mozzie a verse, he gonna be like. You know, I like the beginning, but I don't really know how I feel about that second part. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm probably going to stop. You're right. You're right. Also, you know, Mike and this vice versa, like, they be like, all right, what you think about this? I'm like, that was cool, but like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, what's, yeah, what's up with that chorus? Like, like, you, know, right, you know, so yeah, we, we do that for each other. And so with our other friends, like, when they just like, oh, yeah, we want to make music, but you don't even know how to write. And I don't mean like, oh, like, write with, like, English. I mean, like, write in general. Right. Like, the, the like some of, some people that we know right. actually use ion as a word and that's not one. Like ion, even though that's as I don't even. So oh, I don't shot. even know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's just one of those yeah, things. Yeah. Like it's no shade. It's no shade. But mm-hmm. <laughs> it's no shade. It? That's a bad it? But yeah, it? So like, oh, yeah, I mean, yikes. <laughs> I, I, but, this, but they know this that's is me. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like. I'm just not gonna drop no name. But uh, this is. Like, honestly, I'm you know. <laughs> so let's, you know, let's, you know. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. But no, I mean, I always, I always wanted to know that because, because everybody would be like, okay, this is my man, isn't it? And then you hear nah, it and be like, nah, nah. <laughs> like you told you man this was okay. Like we don't believe in media. He got a, he had like in the end oh, messed up man. about it. It's what's like, this so <laughs> What's up? So a person, a person <laughs> had a person had the mixtape cover. They had a link and everything. And somebody actually told them. Mm, I personally be fired though. Like, <laughs> they don't be fired though. I feel yeah, like they don't be fired. Or the lyrics like where and I just feel like Philly. Philly has a lot going for for itself. Mm-hmm. The city has a lot going for itself. Keep moving. It could, right? Yeah, but it's like people people not really tapping into the ingredients. Like you know, this is what I need to do. This is what I want to do. Or and, and they're not willing to really sacrifice. Mm. You know what, what they have to do to even still to you know to go about what they do. Like you're so. right. Mm. Philly, like we have all of the keys to top any like city. Mm. Period. We have the oh, most yeah, artistic. Mm. Like just what else? just everything in general. <laughs> Talk about it. Everybody wants to be crabs in a barrel. What else? Right. So we not, down, not going. Not, what else? We not, we not, we're, we're, not going, going. we're not going. We're not going. we not going. Like get out of the. I guess the funk that we in because right. simply. So, <laughs> I feel like I think like everything y'all telling me right now. I feel like that's definitely our opportunity, especially as a group. You know to really bring that message. You know, onto the platform because mm-hmm. like people get in groups, they be like, oh, "We gonna do this and we gonna do that," and then they, the first thing they come up is money, mm-hmm. and then that's how, and that's how money break up groups. That's how break up friendships. You know, the bond that everybody had. And if anything I learned, if there's anything I learned, is don't let money, don't let money control you. Like, don't let that be the, don't let that be the final thing. Oh, I'm gonna do this because it's for the money. Be because the more you keep chasing it, the more it's never gonna come. Right? Mm-hmm. But I got a secret for you. Everything I do is on free time. <laughs> Everything I do is on free time. What else? Oh, what else? Oh, what else? Oh, like, come on. Come on. Like, come on. And, and it's not on some like, oh, I, I don't want to pay for shit, but it's literally because like I meet people and they see how genuine I am. They're like, oh, like I, my photographer right now oh, that I'm friends with, connections, right. all about oh, connections, all about he, won't, he refuses to let me pay him. And I'm like, yo, I'll pay you the $100 for the shoot. No, don't give me money. One time, I physically put money in his pocket, and he hit me. Like he hit me for giving him money. I won't refuse. Right. That happened to me. I was. I was doing something. You know how? You know how people talk about? Oh, I promote your business for so and so, right? So I was thinking about doing it. I'm like, you know, just a little bit of money in my pocket. But it was just to help other people too. So somebody I know. This is not about she. So. Not like it's not a, so he asked me and I was like sure I said for fifty dollars. That was it, y'all. Fifty dollars. And he was like, I don't think your page is worth it. So then why you asking? Excuse me? And I was just like, Alright, but you came to me, so I'm thinking so you want somebody you wanna pay ten dollars? Like Word. 
So it's like, don't, and it's like, and I felt disrespected because this was somebody I knew since I was 14 years old. Like, I'm 21, 22, so it's just like, so you really can't let, like, don't let, First of all, don't let nobody tell you about your whole shit. Like, mm. so that's the first. Don't let nobody tell you about your whole shit. I'm an artist and I'm sincere about my shit. Yeah, don't let, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you about your whole shit because you're the creator of your life. You should do with things like that. I want to tell you, yo, I don't know this like shit. But, like, you know, this is how I like this shit. Like, shit. Like, <laughs> but, like, you know, like, when it comes to money, don't don't let that honesty be the root because they say money is the root of evil. Don't let that be the root of, of nothing. <laughs> like, of nothing. Listen, look, there be bitches too. Like, <laughs> that too. Like, don't let like, <sighs> Adam didn't do it to himself in the garden. Just saying. He did. Like, <laughs> so, he did. Don't get a bitch. Please. Don't get a bitch. Please. Don't get a bitch. Please trust there's going to be people trying to say, well, when you start doing this, well, I'm proud of you. It's motherfuckers that going to start popping right. up. Uh, so let me tell you something. Up, like, I got some females from middle school <laughs> that wouldn't give me the time of day. <laughs> and now they're like, and they'll tell you witness, they pop on my Instagram or my Facebook, like, oh, I don't remember like middle the school. Post, you know, just trying to get some, oh, I don't want to, what conversation are we having? I don't know. I mean, you never know, like, like, you know, like, it's just, I feel a lot of things that I've learned, you know, especially being in the media, like, it's hard, especially being in the female media, because you never know who's going to use you just to, you know, just use yeah. you out of, in a malicious way, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing to say, oh, I want to be on your show because I want to get myself out there, you know, I want to, you know, promote myself in a way that's for the people. Not in a way that I'm going to use you and that's going to be that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, I just, I'm not going to promote it. Like, I, I had somebody call me just to see what I was doing. And after that, he deleted my stuff. Wow. Like he deleted, like it's probably one of and that's the thing. Like it's just Everyone like you gotta be careful what you do, what you say, how you interact with mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. because you never know who's out to use you, who's out that's to sneak you. You don't know that. So, you no, know, and y'all seem like a dope group, and I just want to say it because like you don't want to let that, you don't want to let your dopeness diminish over money or like over bitches mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, my, as, far, as far as using people, like all of my friends that I use, I. I'm not gonna say that. <clears throat> Your friends should definitely be- benefit you. They, way they do, but it's. But I, I think when it comes to like, um, for example, like Mozzie's done some graphics for me, and he didn't ask, you know, he didn't ask me for money. But you know, like, I'm like, all right, I'm probably gonna slide this man a little couple right. of dollars, but you know, like, he didn't <laughs> ask for it. <laughs> you know, just 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 because, just cause even though he didn't ask, but on the same flip, you know, I whenever I promote myself and I use his shit, I tag him, or if I'm out and people are like, oh. Who did your cover? I'm like, oh, Mazi copy. This is a SoundCloud. So I, you know, right. even if I don't, you know, if, if you don't want the money, which he hasn't declined it, but I'm saying, <laughs> hey, you don't ask for money. Hey, I feel like my fair trade is to make sure I promote and push Definitely. him, because you know, granted, he has more people than me on it on you know Instagram and shit. But like, I'm starting, to, my numbers starting to fly up a little bit. Like, I restarted my Instagram last year or a year ago, like roughly a year ago, and I had like 15 people and I'm already back to like 2,000 something. So I've been, you know, really kind of pushing and trying to really work on a brand and I'm like, yo, if I'm using your shit for my brand, then technically you part of my brand too. So if I if I want to make myself look good, I got to make you look good too. So... You got to hit the right energy. Yo. Unfortunately, <laughs> with my experience with like using like friends, I'm using using lightly, but like just it don't always work out the way that you expect it to be because the money is not there. Right. Because if you go to a professional studio and they charge you whatever, whatever, and you give them that, you're going to get that time, they're going to give you the pre-mix in that time. But let's say you got a homie that has a studio in the basement. And uh, you're supposed he's supposed to do this, that, and the third for you, or whatever the case is. You know he would do better if you gave him the money. Mm-hmm. <coughs> That's incentive. But it's messed up because That's real. a lot of people mm-hmm. need the incentive mm-hmm. to do good quality work. But their name is on it, so either way, they should still do their all. That's true. So, so you want to help your friends, you should definitely pay your one hundred percent. So like, I got a friend who also does like videography. He's like, you know, I'm not trying to be on the scene. I'm just like, not about just being on the scene. It's about you and yeah. It's not. It's not like, oh, who's gonna see me? Fuck these bitches. Like, yeah. like it ain't about who's gonna see. Like, people gonna see you 
girl is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like my grandma told me. They talked about Jesus all his life. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. he still died on the cross for us. Like, I mean, not to get all religion. I'm just saying, like, just, you know, just say he still did what he had to do. Just like, it don't matter who wants to see you, 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 you know, it don't matter. Like, it all... It is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, is, coffee, you know? it is what it is. Like, you, it's either you going to put zero or you're going to put 100. That's how I look at it. Like, you're going to be black or white, not gray. Like, it's right. not about. We the middle man. You know, you know what's interesting? Um, if you were, like, well, just to, like, not completely go off of something, but, like, you know, the whole friendship situation. Azari and Miley, they know I don't leave my house. So like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? They know I don't live my. They rock the bush. So like, regardless, usually um, I'm I'm really to myself a lot. I know I gotta like really like bring that out because I'm like I said I'm an introvert. But you know, whenever I'm around these two, it's always like a, a um, something productive. So like you know, if if I reach out or you know like usually usually now like for especially for Zara, if I reach out is definitely for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's not like it's not like on like any like financial situation. It's just right. like a creative space. Cause like I feel as though if you have that certain level of chemistry with anybody, you know what I mean. You can learn anything from like even like I remember this one time this um this pastor bought him a quote from Buddha, and I was like, interesting. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it's just interesting because you you don't you'd be surprised if you can find wisdom. You know what I'm saying. You just be surprised if you can find wisdom. In like you know what I'm saying. Like in like in the darkest places you'd be surprised. Like you you'd be very surprised. So like that's like they're they're gems in my life. Definitely. So like every time I talk to them. You know, I feel that a little bit. These key words. Like, 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 I think the other thing I, I genuinely feel this way about them. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I wouldn't fake the funk for anybody, yeah. especially these dudes. Fake the funk, guys. Listen, yeah. Yeah. Man, that's real. Like you know what I'm saying? That's real. Like, Free surface, like, especially like that's why I don't have a lot of new people. Like if you see me, like I'm definitely. That's what, that's another reason why I'm to myself. Because it's this guy, this guy, this guy, that group, and like my group friends I grew up with. That's it. That's it. I, mean, that's I promise I feel you. Like, and I also believe in eliminating people that mean you no know, Absolutely. Ooh. Come on. If you don't hear that, for real, like, I, 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 I really had to understand, like, everybody that you grew up with ain't on the same path as you, like, you know what I'm saying? They're not on the same that's path. It. And that's okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's exes, best friends, doesn't matter, like, they're not... Y'all, y'all could be in the same book with different champions. No, no, no. It's time. It's time. You better like, you know, be in the same book. Like, 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 I get the picture. Hold on, wait a minute. Like, 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 you know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it, it is what it is. Like, you just gotta live your life and do what you gotta do. Like, you gotta do what's good for you. It's best for It's all about you. Because once you die, there's not, nothing's come. Nothing's just gonna move. Absolutely. It's, it's not. Like, the money. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, I try to tell people all the time. <laughs> The key cards, guys. I'm like, I think the biggest thing for me is leaving behind an impression on people that is reflective of who I am. Exactly. Mm. I don't you know, I don't want to leave a reflection of of, of, a, of a former self. I don't want to leave a reflection or anything for people to reflect right, on understand. of someone that I used to be or someone they think I'm going to be. I would like to give them who is exactly who I am and let that be the memory. So, you know, when I hang out with them and, you know, when I'm being petty, that's not me being something extra. No, that's me being me. Right. You know, when I'm telling the truth, that's me being me. And it's like sometimes for me, it, like, it hurts for me to, like, have to be that way. But I always remind myself, I don't want people to think of me in any other light. You know, no matter what, you know, if you make a comment on my sexuality, on whether or not I have money, you can make comments on all those things, but you can't talk shit about my character. Mm. That's what you can't. Mm. Character, so, <clears throat> if there's anything in this world, always keep your character. If there's anything, if there's anything to keep is your character. And with that being said, I want to, I want us to close out, like, with something, like, with gems, shall I say? Gems. <laughs> shall I say? So, what's the best advice that you want to give to people in the industry and outside of the industry, and just in life, just life in general. <laughs> we have time. Y'all really have time. Oh, we, we, we have time. We have, we have time. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm a rant. I'm in the brand. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I gotta stay away from my energy. I'm in the brand. I don't know. Um, I'm in the brand. I think you asked it. Three wrong people would have predicted. Yo. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to like, what's the app do I start on? Where do I end? All right, let me just let, me just let my mouth run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the best advice I would like to give people is um, 
first of all, find something, and I learned this in my graphic arts class in high school. <laughs> find something that you like to do, and if you can find something else that you love to do, do that. The thing that you love to do, if you can do that every day and love it the same way you loved it the day before, the That's same way you're going to love it the day wow, afterwards, do that. Yes. And find a way to make money from it. Oh, Instead of doing is. something that you don't like to do, mm. hate it, mm. and be making good money. I'm saying that's my first Because when you make good money with something you don't like, you'll be miserable. Oh, yeah. Come on. You know, that's first one. Second off, I think staying, and what I mean, like your true self, I mean staying true to yourself, the person that, you know, when you go home in your room, and you're in your room by yourself, that person that you with in there, be true to that person. Don't be true to the person that that you are when you're around, you know, your friend from middle school or when you're around one of your industry yeah, friends. That, that person that you're at home with at night that got to deal with you, you know, and you're talking about that, that you know, if you got, I won't say mental stuff going on, but if you, you know, out overthink stuff, mm-hmm. that person that you you dealing with on the inside, be true to that person. Because nine times out of ten, that person is never wrong. So if it's about your music, if it's about relationships, if it's mm-hmm. about an opportunity, don't stray away from that person because I had to learn the hard way growing up that when you when you stray away from that person that you go to sleep with at, at night, you know what I'm saying? You do more damage to yourself than you do good. You know, so, you know, and like you were saying, you know, I, I came out when I was 13 and my dad's side of the family, Caribbean and they Spanish, so that was a, a no-no. But for me, that was the only way for me to live. I couldn't, I couldn't go to bed at night knowing that I love myself and then pretending that I didn't during the daytime That's because of how other people, you know, view certain things, you know, but the crazy thing about it is, like I said, I stay true to that self, and now you see, like, I got homies that know what type of life I'm living, but that shit don't matter to them because that's, you know, like, I guess that type of lifestyle doesn't reflect the type of person I am, like, you know, that that's something that's independent of that, you know, so I, I stay true to myself and I... I uh, I really would like for more people to do that, and that's why I said earlier when it comes to the, the trap rappers. <clears throat> even though I don't personally fuck with that shit, I appreciate them for saying, "This is what I know how to do. I, I can do this, and I can execute this well, and I'm in love with it. So this is what I'm gonna do, regardless of what anybody say." Mm-hmm. I can't knock them for that. Mm-hmm. I can knock them for their trash lyrics, <laughs> but I can't knock them for being true to themselves. Exactly. And that's I, and that's something I'm gonna, I'm gonna always hold to. Last go. thing um, I think is that. <clears throat> if you can find a group of friends or if you're in a music group or whatever, you know, you, first of all, you guys should be friends. But if you can really solidify a good couple of people to have, like, in your circle and in your life, you're always going to be good. Because right. I, one thing I can say is that, you know, I've been going through a lot of shit just to be in Philadelphia to, you know, kind of live on my own and make it through school. And <clears throat> these guys have helped me out way more than I can like put into actual words. Like I can't really just sit down and be like, "Oh, they did this." Like they've done so much more, um, you know, emotionally helping me through things. You know, mentally, financially, just so much shit as friends that they've helped me through. For me to just be like, "Oh, they just helped me," I I, I wouldn't be able to do that. But I say that to say that you know, um, even the process of like making my music. Like sometimes. I think people think that it's just all about like getting your feelings out, but sometimes you do need somebody to talk to. Sometimes you do need somebody maybe to steer you in the right direction. Sometimes you might need somebody to tell you, yo, stop being a bitch about this, and, and it, it, because it's, it's, it's life and it's real. And I think if you can find people like that in your life that will really kind of like shape and mold you for the better, hold on to those people, because I see a lot of it happening where you have good people, or well, people have good people in their life, and then just let them go. They're like, oh, I don't feel like working on this friendship. I don't feel like apologizing first. I don't feel like being right, the first yeah. person to reach out. Sometimes you got to be that person. So, you know, if you can be that person, and it's all about, like, just bring the pride aside. Like, sometimes it's about pride. I, I'm, maybe tomorrow, but not today. Like, I got to mend this friendship or this relationship or this, you know, business, whatever. Maybe you make a bad contract and you don't want to do it, but you don't know what that bridge is going to lead to. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you follow through and you hold on to certain things. Then, you know, shit should be, should be good. I'm not gonna rant too much more. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dog shit, man. All right. Um, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind after like all of that, um, hone in on your craft. Whatever, like what other, whatever other talents that you have, that's great. Those are blessings. But like, whatever you really want to do, hone in on that. Do that to the fullest. Then once you've mastered that, then I guess the next best thing you can do whatever. Um, let me see. I guess love, like a lot, a lot of 
things can be solved in Philly if like people wasn't afraid to love. Like, and like I don't mean that like sexually or whatever the case is. It's just like love in general. Like a lot of people won't do it because I guess they feel as though they need it for themselves or for their peoples. But like little do they know, like everybody needs it. Like that's. Like it, it, it can take you from like one place to another just just from love. Like it's just like all right, I, I I'll bring you with you. Like I, I had a friend take me all the way out to New Jersey to be in a music video with niggas I never thought I'd stand next to. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wow, like just just off the strength. Mm -hmm. So like if more people did that here, we we would be perfectly fine just in the city alone. Like a lot of people would want to come here. Like instead of like trying to go out to Chicago or like L A or whatever. Um, Three things, anything is last one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Take care of yourself. <laughs> like, stay, stay healthy or whatever. Like, all that lean and shit, man. Nah, I, ain't, I, I ain't gonna knock weed. Not at all. But the pills, the lean, that shit. Ooh, like if you I don't even like taking medicine like, on a regular day. Like, yeah. So what you like, open in your Sprite for? Yeah. Like, yeah. Except for a perfectly good bottle of Sprite. And you well, pay the, the new sugar tax on it. How dare you? You hot. What? You hot wish. Oh. But yeah, um, all of it like following the trends because that's what that's what Future talking about. If you talk to Future, Future don't do that shit. He's on some Eminem stand type time and he not with that shit. He just saying it because he know that's what his fans want to listen to. Right. So these niggas is just following blindly mm -hmm. for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good job. Um, I know... People that determine your limitations will, like, that will be your limitation period. You know what I'm saying? So the things that you can't do, that'll, if you let that, like, you know, affect you, that'll be your limitation. Like, regardless of the matter. So, um, I know for me personally, the fact that I even said to my friends, oh, y'all stupid, y'all crazy for trying this rap thing, and I'm stuck here doing this, and I love it to death, you know. And I have friends around me that are like, yo, like, I have motivation to keep doing it. You know, I... I Sky's the limit, you know? Like, literally, because I can't, I literally snap on people. Like, literally snap on people. people like, these guys, like, I'm passionate. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm a chill dude. No, these guys, no. I'm a chill dude. I'm a chill dude. But as soon as you, like, push a button, like, say if somebody cannot do something, I will tell you about yourself. Like, that's it. Because, like, I can't. I can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Like, I can't. I, I can't. I can't fathom. A person being limited at all you know what right. i'm saying i can't that's that's like we're we piss we shit we do everything the same you know we eat you know what i'm saying like determining greatness is like you know that's really up to the person right. i really can't I, I can't imagine a person coming out and, oh you can't do this i'm like fuck you that's that's disrespectful right. um that's ingenuine i'm i'm not I'm not gonna listen to you. Okay, like that's that's just about it. Like I can't. I, I'm sorry. I keep saying I can't, but like it's literally like <laughs> you can't. It's just a, it's just like a nerve. You know what I'm saying? Like it just like how dare you even? Like you know how dare you? I am greatness. Where are you? Like you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It's it's like you should always see yourself as beautiful. You should always see yourself as like if you're true to yourself, you'll never be uncomfortable. You'll always be going forward. So like the fact that you saying another person can't do it. You don't know his limitations, but you're determining their limitations, regardless. So, yeah, that's all I got. Because I, 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 I went up for like at least two hours with my man's last night. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. I, I just kept going. And we was like talking about like women and, you know, it was like, like how men are just, I'm sorry. All right, see, look, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, that's how it comes in. That's how it comes in. But like, it's just, I was, oh, that's another thing for, I, I just want to say for like, you know, just for rap culture. Um. You know, it's it's um the history of like you know the whole gangster rap period and stuff like that was seen as like oh very misogynist. Um, it seems like in a way we are kind of it never like changed, but it's kind of like we're coming back to like you know a certain level of misogyny. Um, I'm person I'm not a fan of calling women bitch. I don't call women bitch. That's just how I am. Like I'll probably call a dude a bitch before I call a woman a bitch. You know what I mean? That's just how I am, like personally. But if you act in bitch like, I'll hesitate. But you know. I'm, that's it's really hard. Like you know, you know what I'm saying. It's really hard. But like, I, women are just very um, like as I said, they're they're beautiful. 
They're just amazing creatures, powerful creatures. That's just what it is, you know what I mean? Like, but like, you'll you'll never hear me, you know, coming out of nowhere. Else. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Just, just, yeah. That's about it. Moment of silence. Wham! Well, yeah, okay. Like, I really, I really, I really did appreciate everything y'all said. Like for me, like I said, like I, I went from drawing, stop. Then I realized I like to talk a lot of shit. Like, you know, <laughs> like I like to really talk like There's to that. people about certain things. And I like I understand like I'm not really gonna be right, but I know I'm gonna make sense of what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I know I had something to say. I need to get it over my chest. So we're here. Like you know yeah. I'm blogging every day. I'm talking to other people in interviews. So I feel like that's like drawing is what I like. You know I love art, but I like to draw. But Doing this right here is my passion. Like mm-hmm. every day, I think, oh, what is my next interview? What book mm-hmm. next? What book next? So, I feel like my best advice to anybody that's doing media, music, anything that they love, like stick with it. Like you know, like you know, like you mm-hmm. said, like just stick with it because you never know how far it's gonna go. Like I stopped, I stopped doing blog posts for a long time. Like I actually went to a depression, and that's how the blog started. And then from there, like everybody was saying, we should do this, we should do that. So I started adding more creative topics to my blog, you know, add a series to my blog, and doing different things for the people, also for me, but to see what is it really that people really like about me, like I had to take it to myself to understand what people were really loving, so, I mean, so my best advice is just, do, you, do your thing, man, just stick with your shit, man, like, do your thing. You, you know, already know. know. Like, <laughs> so that's all for today, from Hazard Jaguan, Mazi Kabi, Wilman. Yeah, I mean, if you want to find me on Instagram, oh, it's yeah. yeah. the fish you, Facebook, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The same thing, Snapchat, everything. Philly, regular, F-R-A-U-X-G-A-W-D, Philly for God, everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, the Whale Man, uh, T-H-E-W-H-V-L-E-M-V-N, because all the Whale Mans are taken for some reason. So, um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's on, that's on my um, that's my SoundCloud. Uh, that is also my Instagram. I have one project out. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah, basically. That's I mean, I know where to follow me. It's me, Kilo, the Kilo Show underscore and Snapchat, Facebook, Team Mom. You know, cause she be on there too. Uh, <laughs> no, just follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram at the Kilo Show underscore, and that's. That's all for the day, guys. So for the day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>